It was a cold Sunday morning in January of 1960. I came to this church, the First Baptist Church in Greenville, South Carolina, an all-white church, accompanied by five of my friends from Sterling High School. We came to this church to praise and worship God. We had come on several occasions, and we had always been turned away. We had come to appeal to the moral consciousness of the city leaders who worshiped here to abolish the antebellum Jim Crow laws on the city books. We were getting nowhere with our demonstrations at the library and at the lunch counters. So we came again and we walked through these doors and again we were stopped. But it occurred to me as a 15 year old at that time to say to them, what would you do if Jesus came back to this church as a black man? Would you turn him away? They consulted with each other, and after some consultation, they relented and ushered us in. And we entered the church for the first time, walking down this very aisle to where the usher led us. This was the first time that I had been in a white church on a Sunday morning. The church was filled with worshipers who turned to stare at us as we walked down the aisle. The choir was seated in the choir loft. Ushers were at each of the side doors. I cannot help but think that our admission to First Baptist Church that Sunday morning was a turning point in Greenville's civil rights movement. <laughs>